First day of this evening, a Supreme Court decision coming down today that could mean changes in Kentucky's gambling laws. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm Doug Proffitt. And I'm Lisa Hudson. The U.S. Supreme Court reversed a 1992 law now making it legal for states to decide whether or not they want to legalize sports betting. So what could that mean for Kentucky, which has historically opposed expanded gambling? 11 and 11's Anna Rivera asked that question tonight. The land of horse racing, our old Kentucky home, has never laid out the welcome mat to sports betting. Can we get gaming done here in Kentucky? I think we'll be one of the last states. There are you can bet on horse racing, but to make legal bets on UK and U of L athletics or any other sport, you'd have to fly to Las Vegas or use your phone to do that. Despite a Supreme Court ruling, WHAS radio host Tony Vanetti says Kentucky is far from making sports betting legal. The U.S. Supreme Court has reversed a 1992 law that made sports betting illegal. Now it's up for the states to decide. The state has tobacco, bourbon, and horse racing. If you want to go one, two, three for what other people know us by, it's kind of at this point, hypocritical to think, well, no, no, no on the gaming. And State Senator Morgan McGarvey of Louisville says we need to take advantage of the Supreme Court ruling. There's already sports betting going on in Kentucky, whether it's the illegal type of betting or whether it's even something as fun as an office bracket pool during March Madness. Now we're going to have it set up so that people who want to bet on sports, who want to bet on horses in other states, they can do this and we'll be able to collect some of the revenue to improve Kentucky. But not everyone in the state is on board. The Family Foundation says this is the wrong way for Kentucky to make money. But the gambling industry is always trying to take your assets. And uh, it's a predatory kind of industry. It is a vice in that sense. And um, it's not a good way to raise tax money for sure. For now, until the state lawmakers and governor weigh in, all bets are off in Kentucky. But for the future of sports betting, it's still a gamble. And it's still unclear how Churchill Downs will react to the Supreme Court ruling. In a statement, a spokesperson said Churchill Downs Incorporated is aware if the U.S. Supreme Court decision and will be assessing it over the next few days. Now, one thing we do know, Churchill's stock price jumped nearly 5% on the news today. Anna Rivera, 11 at 11.